This this final beer is Modern Times and it's Monsters Park, and I'll let you guess why I picked this one for Monster Train. <laughs> but this is a uh, it's Imperial Stout Asian Bourbon Barrels Mexican Hot Chocolate Edition. Uh, Modern Times it smells it smells amazing. Uh, let's just go ahead and get some uh, some pours going here. Uh, Chuck, I think you need to, um, you need to beat, beat the, I think you just have to beat the game with all three characters to unlock it. I don't, I don't remember, to be honest. That sounds right. I mean, we, we did it really fast. Is Dr. Crest Yasin Modern Times? Uh, yeah, is that Yas Modern Times there, Dr. Crest? Monsters Park. Mix oh, yeah. What? It's good. It's good? I mean, shit. It tastes, it tastes fucking incredible. And this is... This is a 2017. It still has the cinnamon, Mexican hot chocolate, <laughs> delicious flavors, and... It was... The, I didn't know this. It was the first edition of this beer. So they've made it years, I, I think every year since then, but this was the first one. So, uh, Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels with cinnamon, cocoa nibs, chilies, and vanilla, and it's delicious. How long have you had that? I've had it since 2017. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for uh, sticking through the stream this far. Yeah. Um, um. Maybe I can get better at this game. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, that's Twitch Prime. Oh. Oh, man. This is really nice. All right. And what, Dr. Press, what's your favorite 2017 burr? Rusty. Rusty 2017. You know what? I, I tried to join the Modern Times Bottle Club last year. It sold out in, like, 30 seconds. It, it, it turned out... Anybody who's a member can get other people in. So next year, for sure, we're getting uh, we're getting into that. Oh, Greg knows, or I mean, uh, it's Twitch Prime, yeah. Yeah. Do you not have Twitch Prime? I do. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so I I uh, back into the game here. Uh, oh shit. Look, I'm going to be honest, okay? I, I'm i lacking on units right now. I'm kind of thinking... Normally, I would I would go for the spell upgrade. Ah, uh, okay. With 100 gold, though... Shit. I don't know, man. I don't even have a unit to upgrade. I don't want to upgrade the train stewards. They suck. So, so basically... Fuck it. I'm going to go for the spell then, man. W next to your name, and it'll maybe look like a little... Um... Yeah, Tom, I think you have to link your account. You just gotta set that up. To get your... Yeah. It's pretty seamless. I'm, I'm thinking, look. I like, uh, you know what? I, I went with this guy last time, the Awoken Hollow, and he's good, but let's try the Thorn one this time. Ooh, yeah. Unicorn Tears, oh yeah. I still have one, I think. I'm waiting for a game. I'm waiting for a game that has something to do with unicorns to pop it. So these are all free mom beers, right? Correct. Alright. Here's a question. 
Actually, I know the answer to this. What's up, Malfunct? Yeah, did you hear that, Malfunct? I gave you a nice shout out. Thanks, man, by the way. For anybody who wasn't on at the beginning of the stream, Malfunct, uh, he has helped me extensively in getting the Twitch set up and getting going streaming. So um, thank you, thank you, Malfunct. Everybody go follow him, subscribe to him on Twitch. Um, I'm hosting his streams now, so if I'm not online, you'll see his streams through my channel, but uh, everybody give him some props. Thank you, Malfunct, for all the help you've given me so far, uh, getting me going with the streaming and stuff. You're awesome, man. I hope whenever, whenever this all clears clears out and we can get together again, you and I will sit together on a couch and we'll play some games together and have some beers. It'll be a lot of fun. I look forward to doing that. So cheers, Malfunct. Thanks, man. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah, 2017 Northwoods. I think so. Best of the Bourbon County. The best? I would say Uninfected Rare was the best. Oh, wow. I need to purge a spell here, and I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I'm gonna get rid of one of these morsel ones. Again, when they offer me money, I say no. I'm, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna fight. No bonus. When the llama appears, you drink. All right, everybody. Cheers. Take a drink. Thanks for coming. It's a good rule. So I know I said that uh, I thought maybe it made more sense to put my champion on the, the third level, but with all the spikes coming out, I think uh, it makes sense to uh, put them where they're at on the first level. I, I hope I can do that, Malfunct. Um, but for now, we're just having a, a lot of fun, and uh, this is great, and thank you all for watching. Cheers. Let me know what you're all drinking right now. Ah, this Modern Times uh, Monsters Park Mexican Chocolate is uh, is just what the doctor ordered, I think. So... Nice, dude. Old fashioned. I, I actually I love that cocktail. Uh, I wanna. Oh, nice. Yeah. I wanna. Um, Tomatron. We'll have to talk about making old fashions later offline. We'll have to figure out the. I, I want to start making them. We, we just got uh, cocktail stirs. We need to buy some other like a mixing glass and a shaker. We'll get to that soon enough. Yeah, we uh, we ran out of tequila, so we got some mezcal. Um, we had margaritas the past couple days. That was nice. Uh, yeah, we. You know what? Hey, uh, Doctor Cresp, you like tequila, right? Recommend something better than the Costco tequila, the the Costco silver tequila. Not hard. Something that's not like crazy expensive. Oh yeah. Okay, what do we got? We got tequila. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, we got um 
We have a lot of scotch, which, you know, obviously not going to mix that, but, um... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Why are you laughing? Tell us. Malfunct, I already played Guacamelee, though. <laughs> With Mexican I, I had a bunch of Mexican themed beers. That was pretty fun. Crespo, how about, I don't know, 60 bucks? I think the, I think the Costco... The Costco giant bottle, I think, was like 40 or 50, 60 bucks, somewhere in that range. Like, one one nice tequila I've had is Tres Generaciones, which is a pretty nice one, but that was like, what, 50 bucks a bottle, 60, something like that. If it's really good and it doesn't come in like a tiny little vial, it comes in a decently sized bottle, I can, I can pony up a little bit. But to me, to me, they're not. That's not a. That's that's a. Uh, that's not a direct comparison to me. He's talking about my price range. I mean, I, I I do really like mezcal a lot too. So if you have any recommendations there, I'd love to hear that too. I've had some really fantastic Mezcal that was actually very inexpensive. Hey, look at that. I forgot. If you kill, if you can kill the, uh, the boss before the other enemies ascend to the next train car, it ends the combat. So even if you have an enemy that's on the third floor, it's about to ascend to your pyre. If you can kill the boss, then the combat's over and you uh, don't take any extra damage, which is really nice. That's what just happened there. Yeah, Tres Generaciones was uh, the first really good tequila I ever tried, and I was that convinced me that tequila all. Te I used to think all tequila was like Cuervo level, like just basically shit, just gets you fucked up. You know, but uh, when I had Tres Generaciones, I was like, okay, this is what I've, you know, this is the sipping tequila I've heard all about, and it's pretty good. So I took that card because knowing I have the unit where I, uh, every time I heal him, he's getting more powerful. Shit, um, I gotta be honest, man. Space Prism might be the take here. Chuck, that's rum, dude. Don Quixote is rum. That's Puerto Rican rum, my friend. Don't you remember? I love me. I love me some Don Q, though. <laughs> dude, Mezcal's great. Come on. It's not peaty. It is. It is smoky, but it ain't peat smoke. Chuck, man, I haven't thought about Don Q in a long time. I gotta go. I gotta hunt some down. Get some Don Q, man. Okay, I haven't heard of those two. Casa Nobles and uh, Partida. Okay, look. Do I heal the pyre? I'm kind of thinking no, because there's a relic over there. Ricky Ricardo! I, dude, what happened to that guy? Yeah, he went back to Puerto Rico, man. Dude, that was... Okay, so that relic... Whenever a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy equal to the amount healed. It's like... It was made for my... My, uh... My synergies here. It's just... It's perfect. Hang on. What? Uh... Shit, uh... Let's go ahead and do this guy. And now our event here. There's a little bit left here. Crespo, what do you think? What is the Costco tequila, the silver? Because you know the Costco liquors are always some other brand, like their bourbon is Knob Creek. 
uh, their tequila, or uh, sorry, their uh, their vodka was Grey Goose for a while. You know, they slapped the Kirkland brand on that shit. What do you think the tequila was? Oh, sorry, here's our event here. A mysterious figure races towards the train with Wingen not far behind. No time to explain. These, Take these and hide them for me. I can't afford to be caught with them now, so I'll have to come back for them later. Don't worry, you'll be compensated generously later on. Quickly now. Do I take something from him? So I get a curse, basically. And my pyre, my pyre takes three damage for that shit. All right, so uh, chat, chat. Do I do I take this guy uh, and then get get these these curses for? He promises me I'll be compensated generously later on. Do I take him on or do I pass him over? What do you think? Take or pass, and have a drink. Cheers. Eradura. We got to vote for take it. It's dangerous. He is all purple, so maybe we should take him. What do you think? Look at him. <laughs> Another YOLO. Two votes for take it. I'm going to take that as a vote for take it, yeah. All right, we'll just take them. You have my thanks, and don't worry, I'll be seeing you soon. I'm sure you will. Here we go. Holy shit. Are you guys sick of this guy yet? Because I am. Okay, well, the first floor is off limits. So let's go ahead and put them up on the third. You can do it. All right, well. Uh... Fucking A. Tell you what. Damn. 22 damage. That's pretty huge. Uh, I got a couple hits in on the boss for free. That's nice. Okay, I don't like the bomb there. Got to deal with that. Shit. Really? <laughs> Maybe that's where they got it from. Hey, the damage shield saved my guy. That's pretty amazing. The things are kind of coming together. Things are working. I'm feeling good now. It's like I... It's almost as if I know how to play this game. Alright, so... Tell you what. This is not a good setup here. Um, I'm a little worried. We're going to extend our capacity. He just got stronger. Um, definitely going to heal our guy there. Whew, how about you, too? Okay. I mean, not ideal, but not the end of the world, either. Well, don't care about the first floor. Oh, shit, now we're talking. Tell you what, man. Watch this shit. Oh, yeah. I 
I just kind of want... I kind of, Well, okay, get rid of that, and then it's like... Definitely going to heal... Heal you up. And then we have... This little morsel take the hit. And buy us so a little bit of time. All right. Well, shit. This is easy. Scott, what are you drinking? Cheers. Well, I mean, I hear you, but it's not going to stop me. <laughs> Man. All right. Okay. This is the last round. I think we're Oh, yeah, we're going to kill him. This is great. He's he's done for. See ya. <laughs> nice. Oh, new cards. All right. Uh, we might need your margarita recipe. Yeah, send us a margarita recipe. Uh, that sounds awesome. Shit. Uh, I gotta go with that, man. It's hard to turn down like 90 damage in one card. Um, shit. I w I'm, I'm determined to make that morsel card work. Where is it? The Crucible Collector. I just feel like I'm not really using the morsels too uh, uh, optimally right now, and I think that is the key. Look, normally I would go for the extra energy because having more energy every turn is is always good. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and take the extra capacity because uh, having even just one more means like more of those morsels to put down. Well, shit. See, here we go, right? You can duplicate a card. You can banish two cards. Heal the pyre. Well, 20 for me ain't worth it. So I have to go this way. Take the gold. Take the unit. I'll take the warden. And then... And then I gotta upgrade some shit here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to purge card. And it's going to be 
I think it's gonna be the train steward. Get him out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Cheers, everybody. What do you mean, what you got? The ninja. Again, they, they offer me gold for the challenge. I, I, I don't want gold. I want relics and I want cards. Don't want gold. Let's go. Got the cherub. Love it. Heal him. Okay, shit. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, shit. Fucking A, 60 damage. Well, shit. I'm talking about what? You're looking at, how about that? And then we do. Yeah. This is starting to all click, you know? You guys seeing this? The synergies, man. Cheers. They can't get through. All right, here we go. Final wave. Shit, I'm I'm thinking. Damn, sixty damage though. That's hard to pass up. Yeah, I'm doing sixty damage. Ah, uh, it's painful, but. I gotta... I had to do it. Oh uh, yeah, spikes! <laughs> it's all about it, dude! Oh shit, you know what's gonna be funny? Watch this. Let's go up here. We had another... <laughs> we had another one of those up there. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, better heal you. In fact, oh, it's full now. I can't do shit. We'll just do that to have him take a hit.
He's dead. Sit down. Yeah. To me, there is like no, there's no question in this, in this offering. Zero cost card that gives you three attack, attack spells that cost zero, you take it. And then you got what? Oh shit, that is really interesting. Feast would be like you play you play the morsels out and then boom consumed instantly. I That's that's interesting. Uh I think I like that more than this, the shroud spike because I'm spending energy to use it, which I, I would rather... I'd rather use the energy on other stuff. This is free. It's a free spell that lets you trigger that. I'm gonna take that. Hey, look, he's back! <laughs> ah, my loyal friend, what a pleasure to see you again. Please excuse my manners from before. I was rather occupied at the time. My name is Dante, a collector of rare... Artifacts and renowned pain in the ass to all those who to all those with wings at your service. Now I do appreciate your help in my time of need. I was able to evade those insufferable creatures. Thanks to your help and for carrying the load, I think I'll join you. You'll have me, of course. Uh well, I guess we're gonna take them. Plus two magic power for every blight card? When played, Ganon stack multi-strike for each blight card. Shit, I guess we're taking them. I mean, right? <laughs> it's Dante. I, I couldn't say no. Hey, look at this. More money. Upgrade a magic spell. Or another event banish two cards and duplicate a card. I'm kind of thinking we're going to go this way. Oh shit, I don't think I've seen this. One. The Bone Shaker stops near the abandoned remains of a, tra or a train. <clears throat> Looking to have belong to a merchant, the train still seems to have some wares. A few remaining goods from the clans of the Awoken Stygian Guard and the Umbra are out in the open for the taking, but taking something may cause the abandoned remains to fall to pieces. Which clan's artifact do you take from the collapsing train? So if I take the Awoken, I get a random consumable card. If I take the Stygian Guard, I get another consumable card or the umbra uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking I want to go Stygian because yeah let's see what Stygian gives me oh this is... A, I've never seen this card. Unplayable. Restores... Shit, yeah, I'll take that. You carefully retrieve the item for the wreckage, trying not your best to disturb the, disturb the train any further, but the train collapses under its own weight, making any other items of value impossible to obtain. So you head back on our way. See, look at that the way the text shakes, it's just like Slay the Spire, like all their events and stuff. Yeah. Cheers.
Time to banish some cards. Let's see. I hate to do it, but to spend an energy to get like a questionable quality card doesn't seem to be worth it to me. I'll tell you what, though. You know what card I love? Is this... <laughs> free attack, man. Three... Three attack cards for free is, like, pretty hard to... To pass up. Oh, see? Now... Now they gotta tempt me. They gotta tempt me with the artifact. See? That's... That's the key. Dude, but multi-strike is kind of serious. Hang on a second. They already have multi-strike. <laughs> that's, uh... That's pretty bad. Shit, I don't know, man. Is it worth it for an artifact? I kind of feel like if I do it... I'm gonna fucking die. I'm, I I had to pass. I I've been I've been killed two runs so far. I, I've not made it. Just it just seemed like the sensible thing to do, you know. Hey, look at that. Free heal to the, to the pyre. It's not the spire. It's not the spire, it's the pyre. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> God damn it. I can't kill the cherub. That makes me angry. That's a good burp. Hey, man. Oh, shit. Check this out. Ooh. Damn. See ya. Oh, fucking A. I love it. I love it. All right, well, um, I'm not dead. Ooh. I drew a lot of cards. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, Dante the Deceptive. When played, get a stack of multi-strike for each blight card in your deck. I think that's a blight card. Dante, now's your time to shine, brother. And then, then get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Nice. Nice. Dante. I like it. Cheers. Ah. Nice. Holy shit.
Here, trade me. Well, shit. I mean, I'm not happy about this, but I'm gonna have to heal him up and then burn these two cards. And then sting the shit out of this guy. Let's go. So get one hit on the core, that's it. Damage shield for the win! Ah, oh, fuck that armor, asshole. Ah, oh, shit. It's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Hey, there's the boss. You know what? I'll tell you what. Chicken butt. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta... We definitely gotta... Hang on a second. Yeah, you know what? Beast. Yeah. All right. Fuck the boss. I'm not worried about him. Um, play one more card. That seemed to make the most sense. Shit, this is gonna be close. Come on, Dante. Be a man. Tell you what. Ch chicken butt, that's right. Dante! Ah, oh, you suck! You suck! I have not died yet. But Dante did suck it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, he's done. Get done. Sit down. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Shit. Damn, 36 health. Regen 4. Ah. <sighs> Just because of the way, like, my deck is all set up, I think, honestly, the best thing would be this card. And then... So, you're telling me that an excavated Ember card, you spend it... It's a zero-cost spell, you spend it... It consumes, but you gain two energy from using it, and you draw a card? That sounds insane. We're going for it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Monster Train. I sure did. If you have a moment, like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the video. It helps me out a lot. Help me grow my channel. Help me do newer games and more exciting games. Do more streaming. Just keep the keep the train rolling, you know. So, if you guys can do that, it would help me out a lot. And uh, tell your buddies about my channel if they're into beer, if they're into games, you know, and just want something relaxing to watch, uh, send them my way. So hope to see you for the next one. Cheers.